In this tutorial I'm going to show you how to use the new deco scripts in Photoshop to fill an entire document with a particular image or text. In this example it's going to be text. So it does require a little bit of setup so I'm just going to now run through various steps to uh, create this uh, entire fill of a document. Right, go over to a new document and I'm going to use just the simple letter A. It's A there. Okay, and I'm going to actually turn it into uh, a shape because it's easier to work with than using text. And I'm now going to go to the layer, layer style, color overlay, change the color quickly, make it a bit more, uh, a bit brighter than what it was. Now I'm just going to add a stroke so it stands out in the uh, this uh, sort of size of stroke to make it stand out a bit more. Okay, right now I want transparency. Obviously, I just don't want to fill it with just this letter A with all this white space because then you'll just get a block around each of the uh, letter A's. So, I'm just going to delete the background so you can get some transparency. So, you've got transparency now. That's I'm going to select the area that I want for the A. So, I just don't want obviously a massive document, I just want that, just that little A there. So, now Go to Define Pattern in the Edit menu. Create a pattern there. Okay. Now, the pattern's been stored. If I went to the Pattern Stamp tool, which I could do, just quickly do that, you actually see the pattern there. There's the pattern. Right, next step. Once I've done that, I'm just going to go to the another uh, document, which I, is going to be the document I actually fill. So and now I'm going to go to the Extended Script. Utility. Now you can edit um, these deco scripts, this JSKX files. You can actually edit those using just a normal notepad, text pad, whatever application you have for editing text files. But in this case, I'm going to be using the extended script toolkit application. It comes with Photoshop, etc., as well as the Adobe Creative Cloud. So the random fill script, and I'm just going to quickly go show you location obviously of the scripts and just move that aside and now I'm on, on a Mac so it's applications folder in there it's Adobe Photoshop CS6 presets and then deco and you'll see brick fill cross weave etc now I've used the random fill script now I'm just going to make some changes to it I don't want to obviously delete the original so I'm just going to uh, just I've just created a new random fill 1.x so I'm just going to go now to the extended photoscript and really the most the key thing I've edited here is the density instead of using 0.1 to 10 which they say is a, a good choice default 2 I've actually set the density to 100 so it actually fills the entire document instead of just filling very little of the document as well as I've changed a few subtle things like the brightness, randomness, which is normally 0.2. I've changed it to 1, so it makes a sort of more bigger change in the randomness of the brightness. So I haven't changed anything else in the JavaScript. I wouldn't claim to be a JavaScript expert, and uh, I must admit I've tweaked a few things, and uh, it, you can certainly create some interesting uh, variants, but uh, um, you know it's up to you, obviously, if you're a JavaScript expert to be able to tweet this. Also you can find many uh, scripts now available on the web so uh, um, that might be also useful. And also there's also a useful utility that someone's created which has actually got uh, displays all the, the parameters so you can actually edit and modify the various parameter settings without actually going to the script itself. So they've actually sort of created one so you can actually enter the density to be 0.1 or whatever. So uh, you can find that via the Adobe site I believe. Right. Now going back to the Photoshop, and I'm obviously going to now go to the Edit, Fill, and and it now brings up the uh, the dialog for the fill. Um, you can also find lots of patterns on at GraphicExtras.com, uh, great site there, as well as obviously many other patterns available on the web. So, uh, but of course you can create your own patterns, obviously clearly just as simply by creating a design like that. So right, select pattern, there's obviously other options, but pattern is the one you want. You want to set the pattern, select the pattern, so just select that one, custom pattern, and then you want to select the scripted patterns. 
and you'll see a selection there, brick fill, blah blah blah, random fill. Well, I've selected obviously random fill one. Now, you can't create a script, so if you create a random fill two script at this point, that would not actually appear in the list unless you restart Photoshop. So, uh, but any changes to the actual random fill script will be reflected in the, the changes there. So, at that point, just click OK. And hopefully, it will fill the entire document. It does actually vary, and I've noticed that uh, while I'm uh, running a screen recording, uh, recording the screen, it actually takes a lot longer to actually appear, fill the entire document with letters than actually when it's uh, just doing it there. It's, it's done it. But normally, if you're not doing a, a video tutorial, it actually is a lot quicker than that. It only takes a, about a second to actually. Uh, fill the entire screen and you can see that say the random colors here of uh, so random brightness I should say um, things so there's the original obviously there's all the darker versions of the A and it's just filled the entire document of course you can also set the scale in so you can actually have different sizes of letter A as well and of course you can do it obviously with things other than letter A it could be B or C or paragraphs of text or images and those sort of things. But the key thing really is that probably is the, the transparency. So you don't sort of obviously if you fill it with a something without transparency, you would end up with obviously the square block appearing in the, the design zone. It's actually you can actually also you not that you can also add say drop shadows into it as well. So the actual design. There's many many different things you can do with this.